Fanatic CT coming at you with another video. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and for liking my videos as it's been showing. Um, we're building up. Let's try to get to 400. I mean, I've only been on YouTube for about 10 years now, so I think it's time uh, we hit at least 400 um, subscribers. Come on, guys. Let's make it happen. But anyways, let's get back to the show. So last video I, I put out was about the EBC Red stuff uh, brake pads. I'm going to get back to you guys on that when it comes to um, how I like them. You know, I'm not really sure yet. Haven't driven the car yet, but I promise to give you guys a little review on that. This video, this video is about a special YouTuber named Tommy L. Garage. So Tommy, he's been around the, you know, basically YouTube for a ton of time. He was well known for his uh, F80 Yas Marina BMW and M3. And now he has some Porsches and he just got back into an M5. I have to say, um, being that I work for BMW, I reached out to him. He's extremely polite, very nice guy. We chatted real quick. And um, really, really, everything you see in the videos is true. He is really that guy. Very, very nice man. Anyways, um, what I wanted to do for my M340, and I wanted to support him and support his channel and support his business by ordering a beautiful set of the mud flaps that he sells, the Tommy L Garage mud flaps. So you may have seen them on other YouTubers' channels such as Thick Whip, so on and so forth. Um, but I have them now. So Auto Fanatic CT is a supporter. And before I put on the second um, mud flap on the rear, which I ordered the front and the rear, I wanted to kind of give you guys a little bit of taste of what it looks like before and after. So I know a lot of you guys, especially with the winter time coming up, you guys are running snow tires and uh, maybe you even have studded snow tires and stuff. You want to protect your rear bumper, the paint on it. And you gotta do what you gotta do, man. It may not be for everybody, but I'm telling you right now, they look good. When I first took them out of the package, I was like, I don't know, man. Maybe they're gonna be a little bit too wide. They're gonna look not right on the car. And I was kind of second guessing it a little bit. But then when I lowered the car down after I put them on, I said to myself, good choice, good choice. So anyways, I'm gonna flip you guys around and let you see what it looks like before. And I'm gonna also let you guys see what it looks like after. Let me know what you guys think in, in the um, description. I mean, um, the comments down below. And again, if you have any questions of how the install went or anything more detailed, please reach out to me and I will try to get back to each and every one of my subscribers down in the comment section. I'll flip you guys around now. Let me know what you guys think. I'm curious. Let's see. All right, guys. So this is the before. So as you can see, I did go with a wider tire on the stock wheels. This is the sock suspension. So right now I'm running Continental DWSs. I took those horrible run flats off, which I'm sure in one of my videos you will see. So these, I went with 245-40-19, okay? It's the DWS, like I said. This is the Extreme Contact, and this is the 06 Pluses. So way better comfort level I will say that way better comfort level I just wanted to show you guys real quick basically how how it goes on so so you're gonna see you got one eight milli there you got one eight milli there what Tommy does he supplies you with very nice screws that um, come in a package he also supplies you with a sticker as well if you want to support them that basically replace these two and it sticks out a little bit just enough so as the salt the snow the dirt the gravel whatever your your climate is and whatever your terrain is it's not gonna just end up destroying this beautiful BMW paint that we all love to take care of and ceramic coat and all that other good stuff what's the point of trying to ceramic coat something or PPFing it if you're just gonna kind of spray rocks and sand and dirt and snow and salt and stuff like that now I do live in Long Island so we get all four seasons here I'm excited about this because like I said, wasn't really sure about it in the beginning, but after I installed them, I said, you know what? It's just a little bit of a flare that may go unnoticed, but someone may see it and say, man, that actually looks pretty good. So this is what it looks like before. I'll give you guys a little back view as well. Like that. Okay. There's nothing there. Let's go over here. Here we go guys, here is the Tommy L Garage. Hopefully it's picking it up. 
but I like the way it looks. Yeah. I think it looks nice. I like it. I don't think I know it looks nice, to be honest with you. Shout out to Todd. It's really gonna help. And it's like beautifully crafted. Everything lined up perfectly. Let me show you guys here. It's basically you got this screw there. It's very hard to see. There you go. One and two down below there. But it comes out just enough. It actually gives the body of the car nice uh look to it let me know what you guys think like i said extremely affordable and what it does it almost looks naked this is what it looks like guys off the car so i'm going to install the second one so basically it goes on this way on this side and i'm excited about it i will say that let me know what you guys think very easy installation like I said, it comes with all supplied hardware, and I do have the fronts as well, and I'll make sure I give you guys an updated video on the fronts, how the car looks like in winter mode. Anyways, guys, thank you so much. Subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Auto Fanatic CT.